so the periodic table will cover um, content from the atomic structure. It will cover uh, some from the acid, bases, and salt. Then there will be some background info from the chapters of metals, which will be the next chapter I'm going to cover. So you see, so here, so you have the comparison, you have the Na, the O level, and the pure chem. The only difference is the section C. I will still talk about it, so it's just for background knowledge sake, right? So the rest is pretty much the same. This is the first section. It won't make any sense to you right now, but the cover is like this. So again, I see, yeah. So these are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? So everyone is one section. Okay. So if this is a periodic table, then, hmm, um, do you have anything you want to add on to this period table? Or you want to talk about whatever you already know about the period table? Metals are on the left side, non metals mm. are on the right. Yeah, so there is this zigzag line that they mentioned about it. Right? Yeah. They have this, this supposed zigzag line here. Then you have this part is non-metals. This part is metals, right? Just like that, right? Yeah. Anything else? Anything else related to atomic structure? The bottom mm -hmm. row is missing the group. Three to group zero. Hmm. Group three. To group three to group zero. Okay. Anything else? Got the eleven more. What? Uh, what? What? Sorry. Got eleven more. Ammonium. This. Got. Got the group zero is the. Noble gases. Uh huh. So, you know, this is the noble gases. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? And from group one to group three, it's one plus one, two plus, and three plus. Mm, plus one, plus two, plus three, three plus, or whatever. Right? Then? Then groups. Seven is minus, group six is two minus, then group five is three minus. And this one don't have anything right now, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Very good. So later on we can talk about these things. Explain less because you already know. Okay. So Number one thing is we will look at the atomic number. So you have two numbers here, right? Which one is atomic number? Which one is eh? Which one is atomic the number? The number on top is the atomic number. The number below is the atomic mass. Good. So, <clears throat> so you know, know this already. Then you will see that if you observe the elements, the periodic table starts here and then ends somewhere, ends somewhere. So see this one, the first one, the number is one here. Then second is number two, then third, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you see 11, 12, 13, 14, right? So the elements, they are arranged in the order of increasing proton number. This is the first thing you need to know. 
why is hydrogen in the middle of nowhere? Because it's not a metal, is it? It doesn't, it doesn't exactly follow the property of this one. So it's part of the transition metals. It is not part of the transition metals either. It is just there because it's an exception and it's not following group one. So it's nothing. It is not following anyone. So that hydrogen is nothing. Uh it's not nothing. It's it it has its own unique characteristics. And it forms positive and negative ions. So it forms it forms plus one, then you get hydrogen. Then it forms negative one, you become a hydride. So it has prop it will have it is possible it is able to form positive and negative ions so you cannot put it down in group one here because group one they will only form positive ions because they are metals but hydrogen here right, it is not a metal but it can form positive ions and it can also form negative ions which resembles non-metals so it so it's not fair. See, yeah. So it's not fair to put it at group one. It's also not fair to put it at group seven because group seven has seven valence electron that it doesn't have, but then it can form negative one. So the only place that is safe, right, is put it in the middle. So then because metals in the middle, metals in the middle, they have variable valency, so they can form multiple charges. But then again, hydrogen is also not a metal, so it also cannot follow the transition metal. So it's pretty much uh, one of its own and it's, it's not belonging to anywhere. That's why it's like there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So first thing, first fact is elements are arranged in the order of ascending increasing proton number. So this one you already mentioned. So elements are classified into two classes, metals and non-metals. We have the zigzag line here. So no need to elaborate on this any further. But later on you will know, you have to know about the ones near the zigzag line. What's our problem there? 